Okay, so good afternoon everyone. So welcome again to our home economics online class. So we are now in lesson 6 with the title Interpret Design and Layout. So I am Ismir Fonte, your teacher for today. Okay, so let us begin with the line. So what is line? So do you have an idea what is line? So when we say line, so lines are the critical component of sketching. Line symbols are also known as alphabet of lines. So the lines in the alphabet of lines are used to describe shapes, sizes, hidden surfaces, interior detail, and alternate positions of parts. Each line has a definite form and line weight. Each convey a meaning on the drawing. So the use of the line symbols enables engineers, designers to express features of design product clearly and accurately. The front entrance of the hotel is the first thing that the clients and guests see when they are exposed to the establishment. So it is very vital that it accurately conveys your brand and culture. The reception area must have an eye appeal because all visitors enter a hotel from this area. Okay, so many hotels go to great lengths to decorate their lobbies to create the right impression and convey an image. Remember that the front office is the showcase window of the company. The image of the reception is quite passively the defining impression of all the hotel as whole. Okay, so let us proceed to the alphabet of lines. Line is the basic element of a drawing that helps us illustrate the realistic view of an object. We know that there are different kinds of lines such as straight, curved, thick, thin, and short. Every variation of line portrays meaning in the technical drawing, so these are called the alphabet of lines. Okay, so the following are the different alphabet of lines so the first one is we have the borderline so the borderline is the thickest line that includes the entire illustration so this is an example of a borderline and then we also have the visible line so visible line is a line that composes the drawing which can be seen by the observer's eye these are made through the heavy stroke of the soft pencil so this is an example of visible, so from the word itself, visible, so meaning to say it can be seen by our eyes. Okay, so the next one is we have the hidden line. Hidden line represents the part of the drawing that is not visible to the observer's eye but needs to be detailed to describe dimension. These lines are composed of short dashes drawn in 1 to 2 millimeters gap. So yung visible natin, kung natatandaan nyo, yun yung ating straight line. So itong hidden line naman, ito ay composed of short dashes. So kung mapapansin nyo, Ito pong nag-blink, blink. So, yan yung example ng ating hidden line. So, dyan naman sa box natin, so meron kayo may kita dyan na uh, dashes. So, yan yung sinasabi natin na hidden line. So, yung straight line naman, yun yung sinatawag natin na visible line. The next one is we have the extension or what we call the projection line. So, extension line shows the limit of the dimension which are extended from the drawing in about 1 to 2 millimeters gap. So in the illustration, so this is the extension. So itong linya na straight, ibig sabihin ay hanggang dyan lang yung ating uh, illustration. Okay, so next, 
E, dimension line. So, dimension line is between the extension line. So, this is drawn to describe the measurement of the object being projected. This line is composed of arrows at both ends and the unit measure situated at the middle of the line. So, this is an example of dimension line. So, kung mapapansin niyo po, meron po siyang arrow dyan sa dalawang, uh, sa hulihan niya, dalawa sa dulo. So, dito sa illustration ito, so, ito po yung sinasabi natin na dimension line. So, meron siyang arrow at sinasabi niya kung ano ang sukat ng object na yan. For example, may nakalagay dyan na 96, 96 inches or 96 feet. So, ibig sabihin yan, itong sukat dito, sukat hanggang dito, is 96 inches or 96 feet. The next one is we have the leader line. So, leader line, this line can be both used for indicating measurement and labeling or describing the part of the object. It is made up of horizontal in slanting lines with one arrowhead of an end. So, ito naman po ang ating example ng leader line. So, meron po siyang arrowhead sa dulo. Meron din po siyang nakaslant na line. Diyan. At meron siyang horizontal line. So, ano naman po ang ibig sabihin itong leader line na sinasabi natin? So, dyan ay naglagay po tayo ng leader line para ipahihwati kung ano po yung nandoon, yung sinasabi. For example, yan daw ay uh, 7.5. So, kisa naman doon natin ilagay, mas lalong pangit, ba So, sa pumamagitan itong leader line, mapapahihwating niya na kung ano yung sinasabi ng nakaturo doon. Okay, next, symbolic lines that must be recognized are, the first one is the center line. So, center line is a light line, identifies the axis of the symmetrical object. Long and one short dashes are drawn alternately for about 1 to 2 millimeter distances. So, center lines, so this is an example of center line. So, in this illustration, so this is the center line kung saan ay eh, nagpapihawati kung saan yung gitna ng isang object. Next is the break line. Break line, so these lines are used to indicate part of the drawing that is a continuous out too long to illustrate. So there are two types of break line that are drawn in freehand to be used, the long break line and the short break line. Next is we have the cutting plane line. So, cutting plane line illustrate portion of the imaginary object where cutting took place. The symbol line is made up of long dash and two short dashes drawn repeatedly followed by the vertical dash and arrowhead on both ends. We also have the section line. Along with the cutting plane line, section line specifies the area of cut portion through starting thin lines that is usually 45 degree inclined. And then the last one, we have the phantom line. So, phantom line shows traces of the part of object that had been moved through a long dash and two short thin dust repeatedly. So, kung mapapansin nyo po ang ating illustration dyan, so meron po siyang, ganito po, isang long dash and two short dash. Na, ang ibig pong sabihin niyan ay gumagalaw po yung object na yan. So, those are the alphabet of lines. Okay, let us proceed to the interpretation of design and layout. The front office reception area is one of the busiest workstation in the hotel, since all inquiries and transactions to the guests are addressed here to better serve the clients and ensure the comfort of the front desk officer in doing their duty. The front office workstation should be strategically planned by the hotel management. 
front office reception layouts. After learning about the alphabet of lines, you will now recognize the characteristic of an ideal front desk workstation. It is very important that the front office reception area portrays the impression of elegance and comfort, since it is a place that sets the first-hand experience of the guest to the hotel. So many of the guests really think that the reception area reflects to the luxurious amenities and the amiable accommodation provided inside every hotel rooms. So this is an example of layout of front office. So here we have the corridor, the telephone and the telefax, the reservations, front office managers, safety lockers, travel desk, bell desk, in the lobby manager and etc. The front office workstation layout must be strat strategically planned by the hotel management to effectively implement efficient workflow for the stops and presentable and inviting ambience on the part of the guest. The layout of the workstation varies depending on the size and shape of the reception lobby. So many hotels with use reception space have long rectangular shape front desk layout is recommended. So here are some of the important things to be considered upon planning for the front desk layout. So the first one is the visibility of the location. So we have to make sure that the front desk stop can easily notice every person who enters the reception area for immediate recognition. The second one is we have established barriers between the guests and stops. For security reasons, countertops must be set and only accessible to hotel stop since within the front desk area are compartments of confidential documents as well as essential office equipment and supplies. Number 3. Choose layout that will improve work efficiency. The front desk layout must not cause distraction, excessive body movements, and disorganization on the part of the staff. Number 4. Provide facilities that will help control the traffic. There will be a lot of instances that the guests will be requested to wait for a short time while processing their transactions in the hotel should provide a comfortable area for them to sit and relax. Number five, design the reception area based on the guest preference. So you have to know your target market and plan for stylish design that will satisfy their needs for comfort and relaxation. Furnitures and fixtures, color of walls, and dress code for hotel stops significantly affect the ambience and friendly atmosphere. And then, architectural drawing is for front office reception area. Aside from the front workstation, there are other properties in the reception area that may be used by the guests while waiting for the rooms to be ready. Through the different architectural drawings, you can illustrate the detailed floor layout of the hotel reception area. Okay, so here are some of the architectural drawings often used for the hotel area. So we have the couch, the lounge shade, sofa, window, the door, the stairs, electric fan, the wall clock, the plants, table, and the television. So that's all for lesson 6. I hope you learned something about interpreting design and layout. Okay, so for your activity class, so activity 1, week 6, direction, fill out the table, do this in your HA notebook, give at least the 5 lines that you have learned and how it is being used. So for the first column, so you have to write here the alphabet of lines, and on the second column, the illustration or the drawing, and on the third column is the uses of each alphabet of lines.
Okay, for activity 2, week 6, direction, make or draw your own architectural drawings used for front office reception area using the alphabet of line. So here's an example for activity 2, week 6. Okay, so class, I have already posted all the activities that you have for this week. So please visit and do all the activities. So that's all for today. Thank you and God bless. Keep safe everyone.